This week's movie review is Black Lightning, a Russian science fiction action film. The story starts by focusing on Victor, a very ruthless and greedy industrialist slash academic who wants access to the incredibly rich supply of diamonds that exists beneath Moscow. Now, in order to get it, he needs the nano catalyst. The nano catalyst is a form of energy more powerful than anything we've ever seen. And the only example, the only place to get it is in this engine, which was put in a 1966 Volga, which is given to our hero, Dima, by his father. And we discover that the car, because of the nano catalyst and some modifications, the car can fly. There is a strong story parallel to that of the origin of Spider-Man, as Dima, who is a very gifted student, falls in love with a fellow student, Nastia, but at first everything is about him. He's very self-centered and at a critical point, he focuses on himself and like Peter Parker, he loses someone very important in his life that he could have saved. He uses his grief to honor this person and goes out and assumes the identity of Black Lightning with the flying car, saving people, stopping crimes, and inspiring the people of Russia, including a very funny subplot with these Russian alcoholics who are kind of turned sober by the image of Black Lightning and turn their lives around. It's a very funny subplot. And also, he uses, Dima uses the car to make these incredible flower deliveries and help himself out. And his boss is a little bit of J. Jonah Jameson, but simply a very funny supporting role. Now, what works against this film is Nastia, because even though the actress herself is pretty and charming, she makes these decisions and she doesn't connect two and two. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, really? Really? This isn't obvious to you? So she was a weak link. But I will say this, I like the music. I thought the special effects were great. The action sequences were very good. But there's just so many leaps of faith you have to make. So many moments where you have to think, oh my gosh, I, can I really suspend this belief? And because of that, I can only give this film a B minus, but I really do think you would like it. And I think you should get it on Netflix or Amazon. All right, guys. Well, that's all for now. I hope you're having an awesome day. And please remember to follow me on Pinterest, Twitter, and Tumblr at Lord Coyote 2000 Have an awesome day. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.